Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are having a great week. On today's episode, we're going to talk about something that a lot of bass players don't really do, which is standard maintenance and upkeep on their bass. Specifically, we're talking about truss rod adjustments today. So, let's get on with it. Hey guys, I'm sitting here going over and doing some video editing for the last video I uploaded. And I realized that I'm getting some string buzzing in the lower end of my neck, which means that my neck is out of alignment and I need to adjust that. And in order to do that, I have to go in and adjust my truss rod. Now, so I decided to make a video about that uh, to help those people out who don't know how to do truss rod adjustments. It's very important that you know what you're doing when adjusting your truss rod because there are a lot of factors that go into it and if you're not doing it the right way you can break the truss rod inside the neck which means you have to eventually get a whole new neck if it's not salvageable which could be a nightmare. So let's just go ahead do this video, show you guys, get you guys the basic knowledge and know-how on how to adjust your truss rod. Um, it's kind of dark in here, so we're going to move over to my studio, and uh, I'll be able to give you guys more of an in-depth story about the truss rod and how to work on it. So, let's go. Alright, this is better. Much better light. So, what is the truss rod? Let's start with that. The truss rod is a rod that is embedded in the middle of the neck of a bass or a guitar. What it does is the neck has a tendency to be a rectangle. But because wood has a tendency in different uh, weather or temperature, to bend or bow. What they did back in the early days is they put a rod, a metal rod that runs the length of the neck. Runs the length of the neck. So, when the neck starts to bow up, you adjust the truss rod so that it brings, it adds more force to the top of the neck and brings it down. Vice versa, when it starts to bow downward, you tighten it and it, or you loosen it. Yeah, bowing up, you would tighten. Bowing out, you loosen it anyways, and it would go down. Now the truss rod only adjusts. Let me see if I can do a good picture of this. Now the truss rod only adjusts the head end or the net side of the neck. So if you wanna, so if you're getting buzzing on strings down here, at the lower end, frets one, two, three, four, all the way from 12 up, if you're getting buzzing noise on here, you're gonna wanna adjust the truss rod. Vice versa, if you're getting anything buzzing or things like that from below, you're gonna to wanna to adjust your bridge. Now I say adjusting and that's what it is. And what are we adjusting? Pretty much the distance of the strings from the frets. So, when we're playing, if you hear a slight buzzing noise from, like I said, 12th fret on up, it's probably because your neck has bowed and you'll want to adjust that. So as I said before, right here, 
on my LTD. I was getting some buzzing noises up here. Oh. See, you can kind of hear that. At least I hope you can. It's not plugged in. So, we're going to go ahead and adjust that. So, let me show you how I did that. Now, it's also very, very important that when adjusting the truss rod, you take your time and you go slow. And we'll go over that why as I'm adjusting the truss rod. So, let's get on with that. So, in order to do this properly, there are going to be a few things that we need. First, a screwdriver. Second, an Allen wrench. Third, some new strings would be really appreciated. And fourth, if you have a string winder, that might work. So in order to do this, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is to take off the strings. You don't have to take them all off, but seeing how this is my first time doing it on this base, and wanting to show you guys how you could take the neck off, that I decided to do that. After taking all the strings off, flip it over and we unscrew the neck, as you can see me doing that here. After that, the neck should just pop off. So with the neck off, it allows us to look at a couple of things. One, we can see the straightness of the neck if we just hold it up to eyesight and look down it. Two, some, some, very few, but some guitars and basses actually have their truss rod adjustment at the bottom of the neck. In order to adjust the truss rod on those, you would have to take the neck off. For me, as you can see showing you right here, my truss rod adjustment is at the top of the headstock. It's behind a small plastic triangle piece. So after using the screwdriver to unscrew a couple of the screws so that we can move it out the place, now comes, in my opinion, the tedious part, especially when it's the first time doing this, is finding the right Allen key to fit in the hole. Sometimes when you buy a brand new guitar or bass, the manufacturer will actually give you a Allen key for this specific purpose to adjust the truss rod. Once we have found the right Allen key, we can then start to adjust our truss rod. This is where the most important part comes in of this whole entire fix. The truss rod is in a very fragile place, being the cavity that surrounds the truss rod. We don't want it to break, and that could cause us to have to go out and buy a whole new neck. So what do we do? We make small light turns, about one quarter of a turn, trying not to apply a whole lot of pressure to it. Once you are done with the truss rod, then it's time to put everything all that together. Now, as I said before, it is important that you remember to only do small light adjustments about a quarter of a turn because this is also wood it takes a little time for the wood to set so once you have adjusted it you're going to want to let it set for maybe about 30 minutes or so and then you're going to want to go back and check it out if it's still not at the right angle just go back and readjust it by following the same steps once you have found the right angle, you are then finished and all you have to do is retrace your steps. This would be the point in time where if you did have new strings, you would want to put them on. Just reverse the steps, put the screws back in, and off you go. And well, that's it guys. That's all there is to it, to adjusting your neck using the truss rod. Remember, as I stated before, do this very slowly and very carefully, especially if it's your first time. The worst thing you, you can have is turn it too hard, too fast, and then snap the chamber that the rod is in inside the neck, because then you just have to get a new neck. 
I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, hit that like button. If not, hit the dislike button. It lets me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. Until next time, I'm Black Boy in a Band saying keep practicing.